All right, hey there, Tundra Nation. Welcome back to the channel. Now, we are here inside of Brownell's retail facility, uh, and I just found something that's relatively cool. It's not, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of things in here that you don't normally see at gun stores, a lot of uh, nice little touches. And one of these things is right over here, right now behind me, it's essentially just a trigger wall where you can uh, test things out. So we're gonna play a little game. I'm gonna run through all 24 of these triggers right here, all 24 of them, and I'm gonna pick my top three and we're gonna figure out which ones they are. Now, as you guys know, I am a big fan of airborne arms and their Geronimo trigger. We're gonna see if I can find something that I like a little bit better. And heck, maybe if I do like it, I might even buy it today. We'll see, let's check it out. Now, if you haven't been to Brownells in Grinnell, Iowa, let's say it's quite a treat. It's definitely one of the best stock gun stores in America as workers in the retail store can have any item brought up from the attached 240,000 square foot warehouse. Meaning if it's in stock on Brownell's website, you can get it and take it home with you that day. All right, so we're gonna start with number one. We're gonna go all the way down the row uh, to 24. Like I said, there's 24 total triggers. Let's test them out, see which ones we like. I'll kind of give you just my initial impressions uh, based off of uh, what they are. That's essentially a mil spec trigger. <laughs> I don't, uh, don't like that one very much. Two, we got a flat-ish trigger shoe, which is what I like. Not bad, clean break. Uh, very little over travel. Let's see what the over travel is like. Nope, no over travel. I suppose I should test the over travel on all of them too. That's clean, but it's heavy. So definitely not a speed trigger. Also clean break, but heavy on that one for number four. Another flat-ish trigger shoe. I don't know. Okay, that one I gotta try again, hold on. I'm not opposed to it. Oh, it's got a little creep on it though. That's what I don't like. It's, got, it's actually got a lot of creep to it for an AR trigger. That's light and clean. Number six is definitely going on the top three list. I'm, I'm fairly certain we're, we're gonna have number six on there. That's like a mil-spec trigger <laughs> to me. Little creep. Oh, here's a nice flat shoe. Ah, oh, man, you see this? This is what I don't like. See, this is why I don't like two-stage triggers. I don't like that. So, nine, definitely no. Ten's a little mushy, honestly. Let's try the, let's try that again. You can definitely feel, it's not a clean break. You can definitely feel it squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. That's a clean break. Number 11 is probably gonna go on there too. Huh, that's an interesting one. I don't know if I hate this. It's got a long, once it breaks, it's got a really long travel. Let's see what the reset's like. Long reset too for an AR trigger. All right, let's go down here. Nope, hold on, that's light. Yeah, not as light as I thought, never mind. Eh, so-so, give that a fine out of 10. 14 is okay. Now remember, I only got one left that I can put on the list, so. 14 is okay, but not, not a winner. 15 is also very good, but, eh. Which ones did I pick before? It was six and 11, right? Correct. All right, hold on, can we go back to six? No, it's definitely not better than six. This is nice. I, see, I'm a, I'm a sucker for a flat face trigger shoe. It's just like the leverage you get. Ooh, hold on. That was kind of weird. Like after the pull, it's got a weird like resistance to it, which I don't like. Another flat shoe. Heavy for a flat shoe. Eh, 18's okay. Not not mind boggling. Nah, excuse me, 19's good. Let me see 11 again. Okay, 19 replaces 11. So six and 19 Yep, so six far. and 19. Oh, 
20 replaces 19. Okay. I still like, I think I still like six the best right now. 21. Ah, it's at two stage, man. And it's heavy. That's heavy too, that's really heavy. That's even heavier. And then this one was the one, the Brownells guy came up to me, he was like, have you tried 24 yet? I was like, no, I have not, so let's check it out. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Hold on. Breathe on it too hard, it might go. That's, I don't know, that's gotta be a pound and a half. Maybe less, maybe a pound. All right, would you would you like to? Mm. So what are your top three? Okay, so 24, even though it's cool, not on my list. So what would we say, 20? Six and 20. Six and 20. Let me go between... Hmm, where was this one? Six, 20, and 16. All right. All right. You have Here, chosen. Let's 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 get you. What what do we choose, Steve? You've chosen number six, the Trigger Tech TT, a two-stage trigger. Just funny because I normally very much. All right, Steve. Now we've picked number six. Where is it? Number eleven and number twenty as my favorite. So you now get to tell us uh, what they are. So you, you famously do not like. Uh, Two stage trigger. No, I don't. Oh, you're gonna be shocked by the results. Oh dear lord. Uh, so your number six okay. was the Trigger Tech TT, a two stage trigger. Damn it. Number eleven was the Rock River National Match, also a two stage trigger. Damn it. The only single stage trigger you chose was the Hyperfire Competition. So number let's see, twenty. Let's see the list. What's on here? Okay. Which was that one? Twenty. The yep. Hyperfire Competition. Finally, a single stage trigger in there. Though I want to give you credit for something. You you pulled number one without knowing, and you went mil spec. Yep. And you are 100% correct. Which I did that to another one too, didn't? Yes. So, uh, yeah, you went. Oh, that's a one and a half pound pull on the competition trigger on the very last one that goes off if you breathe on. Oh it. yeah. Yeah. So very good, but uh, I don't think you uh, like what you think you like. I, I don't think I hate two stages as much as I think I do. Apparently. That's probably a better way. But that's that's what that's what the blind test is for. There you go. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap. If you want a more readable list of all the triggers that we tested, they are in the comments section down below so you can go back and check my reaction to your favorite trigger. Tell me what trigger is on your rifle and do you agree with my top three? Don't forget to tune in tomorrow when we'll show you all of our event footage that we captured from GunCon 2022 and make sure to join us next week when we still don't know what the fuck we're doing. Bye.